Good day everyone! I'm Julianne Bernadette S. Fodes from BSN 1B and today I will perform my turn demonstration about physical assessment which is assessing the thorax and the lungs. So we assess the thorax and the lungs because we are examining the respiratory rate and rhythm, the discoloration, curvature, deformities, scars, abnormal breathing patterns, and others. For the preparation, we need to prepare our equipments and supplies such as our stethoscope. So since this is a physical assessment, we use um, four different techniques which are the inspection, palpation, percussion, and auscultation. So in auscultation, we need to provide our stethoscope so that we can hear the lungs of our client. So for the efficiency, we're going to assess first the posterior part of the thorax and then the anterior part. Um, next is we're going to provide for the client's privacy. We're going to drape the anterior part of the thorax and we're not going to examine it. And then next, we are going to determine the client's history of the following, such as the family history of illness, such as cancer, allergies, and tuberculosis, the lifestyle habits of the patient, um, such as um, smoking and occupational hazards, um, the medications being taken, and lastly, the um, current problems such as wheezing, coughing, um, swelling, and pain. Okay, good day, sir. I'm Julian Bernard S. Fodes from NUST, and today I will be your student nurse. Sir, may I know your name and your birth date? Jonathan Sankey. My birthday is April 20, 1992. Okay. Um, today, sir, I'm going to perform physical assessment, which is um, assessment of your thorax and your lungs. Is it okay, sir? Okay. Okay. For the implementation, first thing we need to do is to inspect for the size and symmetry of the thorax from the posterior, anterior, and lateral views. The normal shape of the thorax of an adult is oval, and there are five main different um, deformities of the chest, such as barrel chest, pigeon chest, funnel chest, scoliosis, and kyphosis. And now, I'm going to um, inspect for the spinal alignment for deformities. We need to make our client stand and inspect for the normal curvatures of the thorax, cervical, and lumbar. So, sir, can you stand? Then now, let's inspect for the normal curvatures. Okay. Thank you, sir. You may sit. So after inspection, we are now going to palpate the thorax of the patient. So for the clients who have no respiratory complaints, we, will, we can uh, rapidly assess the temperature and the skin integrity of the chest. Okay, now I am going to palpate the posterior thorax for respiratory excursion or also known as the thoracic expansion. I am going to place my hands um, at the lower thorax uh, with my thumb adjacent to the spine and with my fingers um, stretched laterally. So sir, can you perform deep breathing? So thank you, sir. After assessing the respiratory excursion, I am now going to move on to um, assess the vocal or tactile fremitus of the client. So the tactile fremitus of the client is the perceptible vibrations we can feel while the client is speaking. So, sir, can you say one, two, three, five times? One, two, three. 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 Thanks. Thanks, sir. Now, after palpation, we are now going to move on in percussion. So, sir, can you bend your head slightly and then cross your arms towards your chest? Okay. Now, let us percuss the thorax of our client. Starting at here. Okay. So after 
super fashion. Let us now move on in auscultation. So in auscultation, we're going to use our stethoscope, specifically the diaphragm of our stethoscope because we're going to auscultate a high-pitched sound. So, sir, while I am auscultating your thorax, please perform slow deep breath, okay? Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. For the documentation and evaluation, we need to document the findings in the client's record using forms or checklists supplemented by the narrative notes when appropriate. And then we need to report the deviations from expected or normal findings to the primary care provider. So that is my last return demonstration in this semester. Thank you for watching!